Hey guys, it's Sam and this is Top 5 Wednesday. As of April 1st, I am the new host for Top 5 Wednesday, so I will link the Goodreads group down below for topics and such. This week's topic is five books that we are intimidated by. I actually recently did a tag video about books you're intimidated by, so I will link that on the screen, but here are some more that I'm intimidated by because there's a lot on my shelf that I'm actually intimidated by. But I'm going to get to them. I am. They're just scary for now. Number five is The Luminaries by Eleanor Canton, and this is a Man Booker prize winner, I believe, and I had wanted to read this book since I heard about it. It was the year before last that it was in the Man Booker Awards, and I wanted to read it, but it's so big, and it's just a huge undertaking, and I've heard that it is really quick to read once you get into it, and it's pretty fast-paced as far as this kind of like historical fiction book, but big books, I love them, but they scare me. Number four is Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin, and I'm actually not sure if I'm ever going to read these books. I wanted to for the longest time, and then I watched the TV show, and I kind of like not being spoiled for the TV show, and I don't really know how I feel about reading these books, honestly. But if I do read them, I'm not going to read them in this small mass market form. I'm going to get the big trade paperback forms, because I mean, like, look at this! You can't even open the book all the way without breaking the spine. It's just, it's a lot. And I want to read them. But then I also kind of don't. I'm very, I'm very torn. I'm gonna get a bunch of comments saying like, yes, you have to read them. Oh my god, it's so much better than the show. I know, but there's so many other things I want to read. So I might kind of split this between reading it in physical form and reading it on audiobook when I eventually do get to it sometime in the future. Because I'm sure I'll read them at some point. Just not now. Number three is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clarke, and this one I mentioned in my other tag video, but it's just so big. Again, all these books are huge books. That's one of the biggest things is, like I said, big books can be very intimidating to me even though I really enjoy them, and I just like to read the maximum amount of books in a month, and if I have to stop and read a big book, I don't... it, it kind of throws me off a little bit. I don't know if you guys get that too. So I really want to read this, but it's a historical fiction, but it also has some magical elements. It's really good for fans of the Night Circus, which is why I originally bought it, but it's also really huge, and I hear that some points are really slow and character-driven, but slow. So it's hard to dive into a large book when you know it's going to be a little slow at points. Number two is American Gods by Neil Gaiman, and this is actually the first Gaiman that I wanted to read, and I've actually gone back on that, and I since have read The Ocean at the End of the Lane and Stardust. But this is the one that most drew me to Gaiman, and I still haven't picked it up. I wanted to get used to him in other forms first and shorter books, and I do love his writing, but I do hear that this one is very complicated, but it has to do with, like, gods on earth kind of, and just like mythology and its own like unique mythology and taking elements of other mythology, and it just really speaks to me. And I just haven't picked it up. Again, also because I have a mass market paperback, but I have been able to find the trade paperback for some reason. I haven't looked lately, so I'm sure one of you will be like, here's a link! But I haven't looked lately, so I don't know. But I do want to get to this one, and now especially that they've announced like the miniseries, or the, t I don't know if it's a miniseries or a TV show, but they've announced that, and I really love the main actor that they picked to play Shadow, so I really want to get to this soon. This one actually is probably the one out of the ones I've mentioned so far that I'm most likely to read soon because I've really wanted to get to this and it's so pretty and it's gaming and I just love his writing but it's it's big. They're all big. <laughs> and number one I also mentioned in my other tag video but I had to mention it again because this is like the ultimate most intimidating book on my shelf and that is Moby Dick by Herman Melville and this is just this is at a classic and it's large and it's it has all this really flowery language and in-depth, just just a lot of stuff, and it also has parts about like whale hunting that I hear are really boring, and it has the most one of the most iconic first sentences in a book, "Call me Ishmael," but <laughs> scares me. And again, just like small writing, and the speech is very different than how we talk now, and it's hard for me. Okay, like I want to read it, and I hear it's wonderful. And I hear it's like a little homoerotic, which also just like, I just want to read it and know like what the big like fuss was like back in the day when I'm sure this came up. People were like, ooh, is he making like references to, you know, I just want to know. But I know so many people who read more classics than I do and struggle with this one. I know so many people that have like put it down. I mean, it's just one of those books that people almost like take their whole lives to read, you know? And so it's hard for me to pick it up, but I want to. I really, really do. So that is it for some of my intimidating books on my shelf. Comment down below and let me know some of your most intimidating books. Sometimes books are scary, but we will still read them and conquer them together. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!